Hello everybody, welcome to the first round of 16 match, CCL Season 54. The Money Cup, thanks to DLA Piper. We've got a large thud with Pro Elves, or Elven Union, versus Dazzle Storm with Skaven, uh, with this amazing Natty. Uh, but you know, still a good team and aside from that. Uh, good team for the Pro Elves as well. So it should be a very interesting match. Um, two coaches who are here in chat. Uh, so, you know, they're, they're both fantastic coaches. I haven't got a bad thing to say about them. They, they're <laughs> they're going to play this perfectly. <laughs> Definitely. Definitely. You know, if they weren't subscribers, they would, they would play terribly. Uh, now, oh, brilliant play. Brilliant play. Look at that. Oh, fantastic. Beautiful. 10 out of 10. Totally optimal blood ball. <laughs> so yeah, interesting. So we've got Mighty Blow Tackler, obviously that's massive. Um, being able to nail a rat every single turn. Strength 4 guard is really nice. More guards, a bunch of guards. One move up, the, the sad move up here. Uh, that's the bad thing about pro elves and high elves, isn't it? Is it just takes so many SPP to make your catch as good players. You end up with guys like this with just dodge and move, and they're not really comfy. Whereas a uh, wood elf catcher is like pretty comfy for two seconds. Got a lovely pommer here. Claw Pommer, and look at this. Uh, unfortunately, when Dazzlestorm skilled up his Storm Vermin here, he obviously misclicked and didn't take Piling On. Uh, so that's a bit of a tragedy. We'll just imagine that he's taking Piling On and not uh, Juggernaut there. And, uh, yep, you know, like we've got what the Rackle Strip, Dauntless, classic, classic Saka. Move 10, Strength 3. Rackle strip, that's unbelievable. I, I mean, I, I really don't like this player. I, I don't like <laughs> and, uh, Boxster. Obviously, this guy's unbelievable. I mean, I, I get Juggernaut, obviously, but I just think it's not fair. <laughs> the problem with Juggernaut is, it's not piling on, right? Like, like, that's basically it. It's costing you... It's cost... It might be worth 20 TV. Might be worth 20 TV. But it's costing you not having piling on. Is <laughs> the, is the bigger cost than 20 TV, really, in the SPP. Go just sniping and fouling. Quite good little boxy formation to make it, you know. Can't really do anything except just try and pick off this guy. Got the cars. Deserved Kaz for blitzing with piling on, well done. <laughs> Can we hit this gutter? Is this gutter misposition? Let's have a look. This is a catcher. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I think he might be. <laughs> if you think this is bait, <laughs> I'm afraid I've got some bad news. I don't think exposing... I don't, I don't like assisting with the guard either and just giving this free block. But I guess he is blodge against no tackle. But I'd rather assist with somebody else so that you know you weren't giving a free hit back. But, uh... Oof, got away with it. Got away with it. Um, yeah, it can be both, right? As we saw from Daedal's game versus Ducky, it, like, 
it worked out having that having that troll slayer fouled continuously for the <laughs> never getting hurt <laughs> worked out brilliantly for Dave. Get the pow. Pylon, yes! Yes! Auto pylon from Razzle. Into a removal. Yes! Love to see a good piling on, which now means that the tackle, the juggernaut, can come in and uh, push this guy. <laughs> He does! I know he re rolls! But you could have used Juggernaut! What? Outrageous re roll. Outrageous re roll. I had the push. Problem is now you've got to defend this right as the proils and you haven't got many players. Like if you don't if you don't defend this then uh get foul. I guess you you can go up here yeah. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Absolute banger we got. No, I think it's fair right now, tackle ninety. Move eight tackle ninety is uh, is a, the exact sort of player you don't want tearing through your team as uh, well as anyone, but especially as like armor seven teams. Yeah. Cut isn't it? He's the ultimate cut in the movement. Right? Lodge tackle my. Well, he's not the ultimate one. The ultimate one would be a wolf, you know, with a frenzy to kill him. But... Big foul here. Huge foul. Oh, and are there any uh, inducements? There was a bribe for the large third. He used it at some point. I guess that's why he was found not so good players at the top of the start. Gets the boat down. Doesn't need a pile on. And yeah, love, love the foul here. And there's the card. So yeah, maybe it was bait. Maybe it was bait in the end. So it did end up being a, uh, it did end up being bait, and a misposition. I think it was both. Maybe, maybe a large third could have protected him better. Maybe he shouldn't have gone for it. Maybe it was bait. You know, maybe it was an overextension. Like I would have gone for it. I was like, whoa, I was just like, oh my god, I can nail this guy. Let's go. But it did kind of expose him, didn't it? And then. That was the thing I, I did want to uh, fight this half. Like, he didn't get enough away, right? And I don't know, like, yeah, I think panning into fighting trying to save him. Was, that was my first instinct. instinct. Because you're not, like, leaving him in the dust because they're scared right? Like, if it was dwarves, then there'd be a lot to be said for running away that turn. But they're, they're rats, so, like. I think, yeah, putting the guard was pretty. Was pretty but I think I would have tried to fight them that turn rather than leaving into the, the gun fire. Just because the like the positional cost to rats isn't that great, is it, to a big foul? Man, I mean rats are hard to play against. Frankly. Just got everything, haven't they? I can't pile on because he's got juggernaut. <laughs> <laughs> when is it when is it ever wrong to pile on when when you've taken juggernaut instead of pile on? <laughs> 
<laughs> yeah, might as well re-roll this. Like, it's not a great re-roll, is it? But I haven't got too many turns left, so... Is it a crazy... Crazy chair? Not really. Push this, uh, push this blitzer with the uh, juggernaut guy. It might get a bit boring now if I keep saying. Ooh, I'm not sure about the follow. Ooh. Ooh, is this a score? Is this a score? And even with two turns, sort of a one turn, because there's a bit of counterplay for two turns. Yeah, okay. Okay, like, cause the, the follow there was pretty, was pretty wild. So yeah, that was the, the explanation, wasn't it? So yeah, leave him a two turn. Because there's a bit of counterplay in the two turn, and there's no counterplay in the one turn. Interesting. Super interesting. Oh, this this mighty blood tap is massive. I mean, is there really any counterplay though? Oh, do you know what? I think just leaving the one turn if they're all the dice, they're all the dice. Real quick to me. I like, you know, score even earlier so that they've got three turns and I make, give them four turns. I, I don't know, I'd, I'd, I'd rather give them four turns than two, you know? Like, if you, if you, if you think that you're going to... I wonder if this is just, like, a fundamental lack of strategy, right, scoring there, because if you've decided... Because, like, you could have stalled there, right? You could have stalled there. So if you've decided that you, you'd rather give them a two turn than a one turn... Well then, wouldn't you rather give them a three turn than a two turn? And then, wouldn't you rather give them a four turn than a three turn? And then, <laughs> wouldn't you rather give them a five turn than a four turn? Maybe not. But like, Skaven kind of struggle to like, stall out successfully, don't they? So... It's interesting. It's interesting, I, I, like, I'm not saying it's wrong to, uh, I'm not saying it's wrong to give them a two turn instead of the one turn, but if you think it's right to do that, then shouldn't you have uh, scored it, you know, even earlier? Because there's no, there's no counter score chance here unless Blitz. And there's no chance of them scoring early and letting you score back and stuff. Whoop. Oh wow! Well, there you go. See, th see. Imagine if this was a three-turn chance. Now, obviously, wouldn't have made the GFIs there, but still, like, if this had been a three-turn and the Ls had two turns left, like, that, that's amazing. Wise words from Dio, basically saying that leaving your opponent three turns is better than leaving them two turns because it gives you a counter score chance. But he obviously wouldn't make those GFIs if they hadn't been, if they'd been three times. <laughs> Pretty interesting, though. I mean, this certainly this certainly has worked out, <laughs> hasn't it? This has certainly worked out. Ooh. Oh. Oh. Um. 
Oh. <laughs> Is this gonna be a skull? <laughs> you could have passed to this guy. I've he made a scream, why didn't you pass to him? He's got a blitzer. Now he can just go and pick it up. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Please the tackle? Is there not even a uh, a catcher to intercept me? No catchers here, not gonna have an intercept chance. <laughs> <laughs> Not even this one! The one that was further away does it. Oh, didn't tag that guy though. There we go. <laughs> yeah, so that this so this gutter should have come in and tagged him, right? Because it was a five percent intercept. Something you gotta think about when passing over the head of elves. Oh my god. Yeah, that was... Oof. Oof. It's hilarious that it wasn't even the closer one. It was the further away one that got there. <laughs> Jesus Christ. That's insane that it was the further away one. I think he's got edge five. To pass it. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, he's edge five. No, it was... I mean, it was obviously the correct play. I didn't even see him. Like, I didn't even see where he was. He was that far away. I didn't even see him. I just thought... Oh, gutters are fast. This one can get the ball. But it was not. The gutters are fast. The one further away can get the ball. <laughs> Jesus Christ. That's so stupid, isn't it? That's so st Like, honestly, when, when, when he throws it, when the L throws it, I'm like, oh my god, Skaven is so fast. But no, no, they're even faster. Oh my god, blitz this time. Flip me. So the L's still in it. What a blitz. Oof. So yeah, I mean, yeah, you, you know, wow. Wow, wow, wow. That was sort of, so what, what? Did like something change in your mind there? Yeah, change your mind halfway through. Yeah, exactly. Because it like, there was like the screen and the player, right? There was like a screen and the player and it looked like you'd set up the screen to pass to the player and then like, yeah. Oh man, oh man. Get blitzers, yep, that certainly helps. This guy, oh yeah, he's got a good looking blitz here. Oh, this gutter. See, this is the thing, right? You, you you look at it and you think, you don't even look at the pitch properly, right? If, you, if you're not used to Skaven, because you're like, oh, this guy can sack the ball, right? But actually, this guy can. <laughs> <laughs> it's mental. It's absolutely mental. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, maybe he's going to be the assist. It's six and two threes, right? Because it's just a two plus for the for the dauntless. Gets the pow. Not sidelining it. Not sidelining it. I might have sidelined there because obviously you've got two gutters to uh, recover. But I guess it's in a pretty good spot here because you've got two gutters to recover. Yeah, actually, no, definitely better keep it in. If it goes back here, you're in a load of trouble. Yeah, keep it controlled. You've got a screen record. You're absolutely correct in the crowd. So, maybe if it's strict, it might be an idea to maybe get in the crowd. Because then you're putting on the sideline, and uh, there's a chance of zero at the top as well. Well, all of a sudden, the L's are not in a bit of a pickle. They are in a... They are in a vat of vinegar. <laughs> 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 
No, oh, oh, this is nice though, nice little move here, all around the houses. Gets the pow. Well, no, I mean, the thing is, Noddy, if you get the ball up here, or even pass it back, there's still, like, there's loads of elves around there. You still definitely want all of the rats on your side of the ball, right? This is way better, having the ball back here as the rats. A miscount, mm, maybe. Imagine counting squares. What kind of a nerd counts? But strip strip does come into play on the elf ops, doesn't it? No, oh, outrageous. But again, tricky to protect. Disgusting three plus dodges. I've, I've, that's one of the worst feelings in Blood Bowl, I think, Skaven succeeding three plus dodges. <laughs> because, like, you really need them to fail them sometimes. Oh, wow. A gaping pool. Yeah, I guess it's worth making the additional two plus to get the Rackle hit. The removal. Wow. Mm -hmm. So I guess. Oh my god. I guess you've got to try for the stall here, Ray, as the, as the L's. Like, you know, okay, you could just score. But I guess you've got to try and stall it out. Which isn't easy. I guess at least he's sidestepped so he can just stand in the side. Mm -hmm. Power Apple. Mm -hmm. Interesting. Power Apple before this foul. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> Pathetic. Pathetic foul. Are they both, both apples? Anyway? Man, sometimes I just don't pay much attention to apple usage. The one D gets the strip. Yeah, maybe because like the strip does make it really hard to stall, doesn't it? But I guess if you pack Kazim out, it's easy. It's tricky. Like it's really, tri it's really tricky. Yeah, having elves versus rats. Is they're like the bash team. By default, the rats are the bash team, right? Because the rats have the two blitzers that take the, you know, they, so they generally have like a tackle mighty or a pawn or both, and then dirty players as well. And then so they have like they have they have better bash than you, and then they have better elves than you. Generally, generally the the gutters are better than the elves. At like being elf, so like it tends to be tricky. I know, I know you've got like more strength and depth in terms of players, but like it's really weird. Oh wow! Whoa. Whoa. Well, no piling on, piling on worse than Juggernaut confirm. Dodge away from tackle, we fall from tackle, so no option. Gets the pow. Dead, dead, dead. Indeed, no. Indeed. This is pretty decent, right? Like, ooh, I don't think I would have gone one over. I mean, this is better. I think I would have gone one over. I don't really know why. I would have just, I would have just naturally gone one over. But, um, 
Like, I, I don't know why or, or, like, what I'd be hoping to achieve, but I just feel like I would have gone one over there. I don't think it really makes any difference. Funny that, isn't it? This is pretty good, though, like, getting, you know, screening off all of the good rats here. Skulls or oh, no reroll? Oof. Yeah, it was maybe with the reroll situation and like the tackle is in good spots. Maybe should have gone for the score a few turns back because of that. But yeah, that double skulls you can't do a lot about, can you? Without reroll, right? Without reroll, sucks. Just strippers, man. The strippers are just such a threat all the time. Does make storing out tricky to see at least. Ooh, sidestep though. Yeah, it's interesting. I'm not sure it was worth doing that because that could have ended up a really like bad scatter for the uh, rats, right? So I would have just chained, chained somebody else and just left him where he was. Forgot sidestep, okay, well, that, that's why. Yeah, okay, if he, if he hasn't got sidestep, then that was a great play. <laughs> oh! He's got sidestep. Diced. Would have been really cool, wouldn't it, to have chained, chained all that and then surfed him, but he's got sidestep. Diced. Oh, what if, the, what if, can these all fill? And then chain him? No. No, I needed more players. <laughs> Could have had more players and then chained this one into this one into this one. That would be funny, but then I was like, oh, let's recover. Anyway. <laughs> forgot sidestep yet again. <laughs> Nothing like the turn after you forget sidestep to forget it again. <laughs> <laughs> Rackle, yeah, but Rackle isn't really a sacking piece, is it? You need that strip, like the, the strip has been. Like it's just such a, th it's so much more of a threat than Rackle. Like obviously Rackle's fine, right? You got, you're still unlucky if you, if you don't hit your like 75 percent with your Rackle. But sidestep is just undefendable against basically. I would definitely want to go to one of these two squares to keep this screen. Miss quick, maybe. Undercooked Pelf team. It was alright. It was alright. Some guards, a move up, a mighty bow tackle. Strength up. There wasn't an edge up, but there was. There was bits and bobs, wasn't there? A move up. I mean, it obviously needed more, but one of them. More than Seabros did! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was a good game, very good game. Very good game. 
I mean, the pros look undercooked compared to the rats. Like, the rats, the rats. Pretty monster thing, to be fair. I guess less so now without the pommer. Um, yeah, very, very, very cool game. Oh. Man, that, that size step was such killer, wasn't it? Like, imagine if that chain would have worked. But obviously, it might have set up differently without the size step. Yeah. Yep, very, very cool game. This seems really pointless. <laughs> Oh, so it was in case this was a 1 in 12, 9, 6. But it still wouldn't have been a counter score. So I guess it saves a bit of game here. If that's a 1 in 12, 9, 6. It was co correct, technically correct play there. Love, love to see it. I'm not sure it's correct to make it block. It probably is. If you especially if you, it'd be easy just to score it, wouldn't it? Because you really unlikely to want to. Maybe not that unlikely actually. Actually looking at it, no, that was definitely right to block. This is this is on. This is really on this one time. Not putting we've well, only got one side up, so can't put three sides up on the other ones. This is a very on one turn. Though I am hating this. Dude! Dude! This is not good enough. Right? This has to be better. It has to be better. You Something like this. This, this, this is not good enough. No, no, you sh you surely need to be able to do something better than this, right? Surely it has to be possible. Surely. Surely you have to be able to do it better so you don't need to use the whole method. Surely. Like, I know it's only seven players. But... Surely you need to be able to do it without the cut, without the air hole. It's really nice though getting the extra one here, isn't it? Right. Yeah, it's really nice getting the extra one there. So I guess that makes up for it, I guess. That makes up for it. Getting the extra hit. I guess it makes up for having to use the hole. M like, maybe it wasn't. Yeah, I should have done the ball first, yeah. Like, especially with, with Nurse of Steel. Yeah. Especially with Nurse of Steel. I guess you could make an argument for not doing it without Nurse of Steel. It would depend on, on things, but yeah, obviously. Obviously with Nurse of Steel, you 100% do the pass first. Um, but... Oh, I don't know. I don't, that's interesting. Like, yeah, the the chance of getting the extra push does mitigate the uh, requiring the push on the initial block somewhat. But I don't know. I surely there's a way to do it without without the whole method. Like, I don't know. I could be wrong. I could be wrong. But just looking at it, I was like, oof. But you know, m maybe just didn't have the players or whatever. And I mean, I'm not Kfog. I'm not Kfog. Kfog. If Kfog looked at that and instantly went, oof, you'd know he'd be right. I don't know that I'm right, but I feel... I feel that I'm right, but I, I really don't know at all. So, you know, yeah, who knows? If you think about it for two minutes in a game, three minutes in a game, you know, maybe, it's, uh, maybe it was fine. But there you go. Um, commiserations to a large thud, and congratulations to Razzlestorm. 
a pretty cool match, eh? 14 and 17 arm breaks. Um, interesting match, very interesting match. Well played by both. And uh, thanks for watching, everyone. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. And stay fantastic.